my name is Miguel and today I'm gonna make for you cabbage stew. You're gonna need a head of cabbage, pound or so, stock of scallion, carrot, spring of thyme, two garlic cloves, tomato, an onion, or half of an onion, piece of ginger, optional, about a teaspoon of fermented berries, tablespoon of parsley, basil, dried herbs are optional. You're gonna need half of quarter cup of cooking oil, sea salt, and some water. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Scotch bonnet pepper and white vinegar. Visit jamaicadinners.com every day. Now, peel garlic cloves. Remove the leaves from the garlic cloves. Scrape skin from ginger. And remove brown leaf of the onion. Remember now the first layer of the onion is the strongest. So you just want to remove just the brown leaf. Scallion. Remove all dying leaves. The root end and cut the leaf tips off. You just want a spring of thyme, you know, depending. If you use a thyme and you know it has strong flavor, you can use a smaller piece. Slightly scrape off the carrot and cut the stem end off the tomato, which you saw me did earlier. All right, so once you did all those preparations, now we're gonna rinse the vegetables properly under fresh running water. Now, get a container, add some water, couple drops of white vinegar, rinse your vegetable properly. In this case, the vinegar is not necessary. All right, the cabbage now. All right, just cut the stem off cabbage and make sure when you go to the supermarket you get firm cabbage and then if you have any spoiling leaf or dying leaves just remove the dying leaves cut cabbage in half look in between the cabbage to see if there is any insect or if or to see if it's spoiling all right so do as you see me doing cut the stem out okay, just the tough part that you see at the cabbage all right get a bowl add enough water that the cabbage is emerged then add about a tablespoon of salt. I'm using sea salt. Or if you don't have salt, you can use white vinegar. This is what I like to do. Get the water in between the leaves and kind of rinse it properly. All right, when you finish, your water should look as clean as this. All right, now shred your cabbage medium cut. You can either shred it medium or you can shred it fine. All right, you gotta, when you cut, you got to cut alongside the grain. So when you cut it, you should get strips or flakes. It shouldn't get little. It shouldn't get uh, It shouldn't be mints. It should be flakes, like little strips, like this. So you gotta cut alongside the line. You can either cut medium cut or fine cut, or you can use a, a shredder. You know that shredder with the four sides. You can choose whatever side, however side, however big you want it, and then you just shred it. In this case, it doesn't matter. Some people like it fine, and some people like it medium cut. Alright, so do as you see me doing. And shred the cabbage. Medium cut. Alongside green. That means you have no That means. Once that's done, just put it in a bowl. The carrot now. Cut the carrot in half and then small little carrot sticks. You can do it this way or you can also cut little wheels. It really doesn't matter like that. So let me show you the wheels. Yeah, that's but you can cut it in sticks or wheels. Dice the scallion. Dice the onion as well. Cut the tomato in one eighth. In other words, you cut it in quarters and then you cut the quarter piece in half. Spring of thyme, a piece of ginger. You want to mash the garlic to puree. Or you can use that grinder that I just showed you and, um, and grind it to puree. Right, that's one. This is my pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. Pickled. So you just want half a scotch bonnet pepper. Sometimes I like to grind like a pinch, nutmeg. Add your quarter teaspoon of dried fermenter berries, basil, sorry, that was basil first, and a tablespoon of dried parsley. You can use these herbs fresh as well, just chop them up fine. 
and remember now the herbs are optional but if you ask me cooking a meal like this it would be the perfect time to add herbs to your meal herbs are just additional nutrients that your body benefits and it doesn't interfere with the flavor of the meal in fact it enhances the flavor all right i'm measuring quarter cup of water See? this little scoop that i just used i'm using measures quarter cup so measure and put aside quarter cup of water all right now cooking time this is the part where most people wish i just start from this part but preparation is a key i like to show the preparation part because maybe some people might want to see it all right so you get a saucepan put your stove gauge on four medium low jamaicans you can use your dutch pot regular big old dutch pot there all right those gauges on four medium low Just allow the pot to get hot for a little all right once pot is dried no water is in the pot add one to two tablespoons of coconut oil and water all right after a minute those gauges on four medium low ginger is optional but after a minute between two add your chopped onion a piece of ginger and stir saute it's allowed to saute for a couple seconds right after add a chopped scallion and those of you who don't have access to scallion it's optional as well All right, so you just saute, allow it to saute for a few seconds. Add your pimento berries and your mashed garlic cloves. Add it in that sequence because the garlic burns easily. So you gotta add the onions first. All right, you notice I don't have that much oil in it. It's just only two tablespoons of coconut oil I'm using. You can use olive oil or any any healthy oil. Add the spring of thyme. About a minute after, add the chopped tomato. By, by sauteing the chopped tomato, it will give this meal a different um, it will give this meal enhanced flavor. Alright, so now, after about two minutes of cooking, of sauteing the seasoning, turn the stove stage on two low. And then add your shredded cabbage. Measure and add a teaspoon of white vinegar add your chopped cut bunny pepper and the herbs along with the water and then turn use the pot's lid and cover the pot properly and turn the stove gauge on low almost off low all right so this is how low you want it you want it as low all as right. this so you want it you want the flame of the stove to be as low as almost off low all right four minutes the stove gauge is on low i didn't open the pot within the time i left it closed and let's allow it to steam kind of steam cook all right after the four minutes just give you your cabbage stew a couple of stirs a few stirs give your cabbage stew a few stirs lift the bottom to the top add a carrot hands later and cover the and it's been two minutes six minutes in all since we added the cabbage two minutes for the carrot okay, remove the pepper touch bunny pepper stir fry all right, all right remove the spring of thyme and about a teaspoon of sea salt rarely if it's moist so that's why the, the salt is kind of liquidy it's in the december it's in the whole season so that's that's why my salt was liquidy before anybody asks all right so add the salt stir and over it and all right the stove's gauge is on four on two medium low all right it's been eight minutes let's remove the time stick turn it off and allow i'm finish. you finish. that's bulgur that's what i'm having in. now let's take a scoop of your cabbage stew all right so this is cabbage visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe subscribe like share all right
you can do this same method with purple cabbage purple cabbage is stronger or it's better all right so this is a fresh clean tasting meal cabbage is just right has a clean taste. the herbs spruce the flavor just right the bulgur bulgar is a better choice than rice the carrot is cooked just right not overcooked as so as well the cabbage not crunchy it's just and it's not soft just right see I was telling you about the wheel you can do it with wheels I was saying earlier with the with the ketchup I was showing you you can add ketchup like a tablespoon of ketchup to this as well to kind of um, give it a different flavor so this is plain cabbage stew no chicken no salt fish no anything just plain cabbage you can use a purple cabbage and you can mix them both some people make it add some people add pop chow that's how thin you want to chop it and remember now this is not coleslaw if you notice oh i just hold that strip of cabbage off. that's what you want you want it you want it you want it the cabbage to look just like this You notice I didn't use any butter. One of the things a lot of people love adding to this meal is butter as well. If you know anything about me, I don't use butter as much, if any at all, really. Only when I bake. This is a meal that Jamaicans have at least once a week, probably on a Tuesday night or Tuesday evening. They don't want to eat something heavy. Or even Monday, after the big heavy Sunday dinner. We like to cook some light like this. And those of you probably wondering if it's filling, it is. You will feel satisfied after this meal. Rastafarians will probably add some fresh peanut or any nuts to this meal. Some people also, if you had like an like a okra, one okra, you can dice that up and throw it in. A chocha. If you had like a piece of chocha, put the diet set up and throw that in as well. You know, any kind of soft vegetable. Vegetables that can be eaten raw, you could, you could add it to it. Some people add mixed vegetable, like the frozen one or the one from the can. So you saw me eat this plate of food. Sometimes you gotta eat, you gotta ease off the meat and the chicken and the pork and eat vegetables you see how oh, i'm just eating the cabbage all by itself it's just, this is just it has it's delicious it has a really nice flavor all right see ya go take a look at our merchandise store links below a miguel morgan samuels production